Hi guys! In the latest Marvelous Designer 5 updates that come after the 2.3 ones, so 2.3, 111, 112, 136, all of those, there are a few slight changes. So the Texture Transform tool behaves a bit differently and there's a new feature for thickness. In this short tutorial, I'll show you how to work with the new Texture Transform tool and in the next one, I'll show you the features for thickness. I personally prefer to work with the 2.352, which comes before the ones, because I just like how the Texture Transform tool works in that version, the older version. So in fact, after this tutorial, I'm going to revert back to my older version. But in case you're a new customer and just bought MD and only have the new version, or want to use a new version and not the slightly older one, I'll show you how to work with the new tools and features in this minor update. To demonstrate how the new Texture Transform tool works, I'll use an example where I have a pattern texture that I need to scale down to the exact correct size in order to trace it later on and recreate that garment from the pattern. So I'll take my rectangular pattern tool, just draw it a big square here, and then here I have a pattern I loaded in. Now I want to scale it down to the correct size. I'm going to take the bottom line here as a reference point. So I'll take my rectangular pattern tool and then I'll click once and make the same width of 347.06 and then I'll go here to this fabric which I call transparent and drop that on my tracing pattern and you can see it's not transparent and I want it to be transparent so I'll just go to my desktop and load in a transparent PNG and now it's transparent. Then I'll take my texture transform tool and now you can see when I click, we get this one circle here with this uh, strange black line, and then we get another transform circle here. So this one here is for rotating, and only for rotating. You can't scale with it, you can just rotate. So let's undo that rotation. When you click, you get the circle, and when you click and drag, you can move the pattern. And if we had another pattern here for different texture, you can see there's this kind of gray symbol, and if we click on that, then that one's active and this one becomes grayed out. So now let's say we want to scale this thing. How do we do that? Well, here we have the, the transform wheel, or whatever the thing is called, and here we can scale it. Just like before, in the older version, when there was one wheel for scaling and rotating, now we can distort it, like this, or distort it downwards, by pulling on this circle here, or squish it by pulling here. Let's just undo that. Or use any one of... Oops, make sure that you clicked on the texture first. Any one of these here diagonal ones to uniform scale it up or down. And then when you want to move it, go back here and move it, and then use this again to scale it. Until you get it to be the right size. I think it's a bit of a pain to have these two wheels instead of the one in the older version, and that's why I like to use the older version, but you can manage it if you're a bit patient and just play around with it. And there we go, it's almost exactly that length, should do for tracing, and then we can go from there and trace out the rest of the pattern and sew it together, etc. I have some free tutorials on our YouTube channel and on the website for how to trace patterns and create clothes from patterns. Now the same thing goes for this trim here, I've loaded in a small square that's seamless and repeats and now let's say we want to squish it down let's first make this a bit shorter we want to transform that so we just click on it and then we use this wheel up here to scale it up or down and then we move it into place and there we go now it's a big shame i think in the new version that one cannot scale with the texture transform tool, 2D graphics. So for instance, in the earlier versions, in the version before the point ones, one could scale 2D graphics. So for instance, I'm going to click on my skirt here, click on the 2D graphic tool, and then say I want to have this here, repeating across here. So I'm going to click, okay, and then I'm going to stretch it, and you can see it gets very distorted. Now in previous versions, all I had to do is take my texture transform tool, click on it, and then use this scaling thing here, or it was one before, and then I could make it tile. So now you can't do that. Maybe they'll add it back in the next version, let's hope. So what you have to do if you want it to tile after you stretched it, 
is to go here and turn off lock aspect ratio in the property editor and then go here in the width and type in some size like 10 and then you can see it scales it down or even five and then you can see it's repeating now and if you wanted to make it taller then you'd have to go in here and type some height that you want it to be and then you can adjust its position let's make that 55 and there it's tiling and you could now that you have the right um, aspect ratio turn this on again and then scale this down to be like one and then you can see it's not stretched out and it's smaller or we could make it bigger six so basically that's the new texture transform tool and see you in the next tutorial